I'm here to discuss two issues in Excel, filtering of data and doing subtotals. I have the spreadsheet here. I'm going to work with the data. It's pretty easy. I'm using version 2013. It will work with 10 or 7. So I click any place in the data range. I click on data. I click on filter. You get these little triangles in here. So if I just want to see a specific product, like the fast car, I uncheck the select all, I select fast car. So I have the information, different numbers for the rows. It's hiding the other ones, they're still there. Now let's say I want to find the fast cars only in a specific region. I click over in here, on check, I want to know everybody in the west. So I'm narrowing it down even more. Let's say I want to know a specific salesman, what he sold. I go on select, and let's say I want to know what Maria and Joseph sold. So I have that there. Now let's say I want this sorted out. Easy way to do it. Go on the Home tab, Sort and Filter, A to Z. I got Joseph at the top, Maria down there. Uh, we've narrowed it down. If you want to get rid of the filters, just go to Data, click on Filter. It is shut off. Now let's say you want to do subtotals. Let's say you want to know what each person sold in net sales. Very easy to do. It's only a few simple steps. You want to sort by the salesman. You go again, you sort alphabetically. So we got everybody going in here. If you go down here, you see we have over a thousand entries. We're going to get the subtotals now. And to do that, it doesn't matter where you click. We click on the Data tab, and I click in the far right on Subtotal. And what I'm going to say is that each change in Salesman I'm going to use the sum function. You have other ones there. And let's say I want to know what's going on with the net sales. Let's say the profit and the loss. If you want each one to be on a separate page or with page breaks in between, you check this off. You say OK. You get a 1, 2, and 3 over here. If I click on the 2, it's showing what everybody sold with their profits or loss and the grand total. I click on the th three, it's everything. The one is just the grand total. If I want to expand a group, I click on the plus. If I want to shut off the subtotals, all I do is click on subtotal remove all, that's everything.